between them. Then we have the indirect expenses, examples of indirect expenses. Remember that the indirect expenses are those that we don't know how to allocate them. In other words, we know what the total is, but not what to allocate them or where to allocate them. We're going to be using rent and utilities. So we're going to assume that these four departments are in the same building. We pay rent, we pay utilities on that building. We're not able to break them out between the departments easily. We're not basically getting billed based on the department that are consuming the building. And therefore, we have the totals that we need to allocate out. We can use an activity base to do so. Common example in this case of rent and utilities would be the floor space. We can look at the square footage of each department in comparison to the total to get uh, that kind of comparison to allocate out. We're going to say we know what the totals are. So they're 11,000 and 1,200. That's what we know. What we don't know is how to break them out into these four departments. You could say, well, why don't we just take that number, the total that we know, divide it by four, allocate it out. Well, one, because these departments aren't the same size, most likely. That's going to be the most common difference. If we say that's the case, then we have to allocate based on size or based on some relevant activity. To do that, we use an activity base. That base we're going to use is floor space. We would think that would be a, a reasonable ratio to use to help us to allocate these expenses related to rent and utilities. To do that, we would need the floor space for each of our departments. We're going to say that uh, Department 1 is 240, 2, 240, Department 3, 720, Department uh, or Sales Department 1, Sales Department 2, 720, and 1,200. We then look at the percentages. So we're going to say, all right, here's 240 divided by the total. And that's going to give us 10%. If we move the decimal over two places and then 240 of obviously again and then the 720 divided by the total and so on and so forth there's the 30 percent now of course it all has to add up to 100 percent when we do this because this is the point all we're doing is saying well this is the square foot per each department that means we own a total of all the departments or 2400 square feet and then we just take the square footage of one department in relation to the total if we do that for all departments, then we get percentages which must add up to 100%.